Good afternoon, food lovers, and welcome to Neri's Kitchen. On today's episode, we are on site at Carlos Cucina, located at 300 Brazier Street. Carlo and Anna began working together as kids at their mom's establishment. Over the years, they knew that food and cooking was their passion, then Carlos Cucina was born. Anna for sure would be there and bring her cooking talents to Carlos's Elmwood Winnipeg location. Their passion for food comes from seeing the enjoyment on people's faces. Today, we will be cooking an eggplant parmigiana and a healthy dessert made with custard and berries. Let's give a warm welcome to Anna Guzzi. Hey, Anna. Hi, Neri. Welcome. Thanks, thanks for having us here in your kitchen. Thank you for having me on your show. Okay, so what are we doing today? Today, we are making eggplant parmigiana. I've already pre-cut the eggplant because I want it to settle. Um, what you have to do is once you've cut the eggplant, you have to salt it and let all the sour juices arise. So is this all of the sour juices all then? All this here is all the sour juices. You want to let it set for at least about half an hour to an hour. Along about an hour, you'll get most of all the juices out. And once all the juices have come, you've seen them all arise like this, the brown. Mm -hmm. What we do is we take it and we'll rinse it. Once we rinse it, then we'll pat it dry. Okay, wow, I had no idea. I didn't think that it could be bitter. No. So if you rinse the eggplant, does yes. it absorb the water then? It does a little bit, but eggplant is more of a, it doesn't soak lots in, like the seasonings it does, but not moisture. Got it, okay. It's a spongy-like type of vegetable, so. Got it. It's just rinsing off the excess that was inside. Mm -hmm. That way when you eat it, you're not tasting all those bitter juices. Right, right. So if you want to help me, Neri, maybe grab a couple pieces of paper towel. Sure. Okay. And then we'll pat this all dry. You can start patting it. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start cracking the eggs and getting my egg mixture ready. So that way we can start coating it in flour, egg, and our breadcrumb. Okay. So Anna, yes. are these one of your, is this your favorite recipe or one of your favorites? It is, it's a basic classic recipe. My mom used to always make it for us when we were younger. It's a dish that it's not traditionally always at every dinner table. It's acquired, but we always enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. And so when did you found out that you enjoyed cooking? Oh, I was basically born in the kitchen. You're born in the kitchen, got Pretty it. Pretty much. My mom always had me in the kitchen. I've got a little eggshell in here. Yeah, you know, it's always from the moms. My mom had me in the kitchen a lot, and you know what, I didn't like it. <laughs> I did not like it. I think I appreciated it more when I was older. That's when I started liking food and liking the kitchen. Okay, so I think I pat this dry already. Yep, perfect. Perfect, okay. So I'm just adding a little bit of salt and pepper to the egg mixture just for a little seasoning. Okay, so what we'll do now. And what's we'll this? Oh, flour? Yeah, this is okay. just flour. Okay. What we'll do is we will put it in the flour, throw it into the egg mixture. So a good tip actually, I didn't know you have to dip it in the flour first because that's what makes the egg stick, stick to, to it. it. Yeah. Yes. Place it into my pan here before we take it and fry it. And what's in your flour mixture? In my flour oh, sorry, mixture, your my mixture. breadcrumb mixture has yeah. got a little bit of salt, pepper, Parmesan, and Italian seasoning. Oh, wow. And so when was Carlos Cucina, when was this born? When was it established? Carlo established this basically, I guess, two, three years ago. He's been in Winnipeg Beach for two years, but we've been cooking together in many restaurants. Actually here at the Elmwood Curling Club, we were here four years ago, five years ago, but it wasn't Carlos Cucina at the time. It was just basically Elmwood Curling Club and Got our it. kitchen. 
And uh, then he moved to Winnipeg Beach and opened up Carlos Cucina out there. And it's been very successful since. Good. And for those that don't know, Anna is actually a member at Fit Club. Yes, I am. So Anna, tell us how long have you been a member for? I have been a member for since only the beginning, the beginning of the, the last list of the of the pandemic. So about I think two we're and in a half third, months. We yeah, I know. Third lockdown. But just I, this, I lost track. Just this past year. Just this, this past, past year. year. Okay. Yeah. And tell us what has been the biggest change for you, or what have you noticed in yourself? My discipline with myself, basically. Just I I feel like I really can't miss because just the environment there just brings you back. Yes. And it helps me mentally. It really does. Going and working out every day helps my brain, helps my uh, energy levels. When I don't go, I feel guilty. And, and I you feel, feel sluggish, I right? I do, I do. Yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna take them over and we're gonna fry them. So we're gonna coat it with quite a bit of oil. That way nothing sticks. I like doing it on a flat grill instead of a pan, because less grease but you can do it in a frying pan with some oil. And so how long are we frying this for? Until they're golden brown, till the, the coating so is nice crispy. Soft, till it's crispy, correct. Okay, so a couple minutes each side? Yeah, I would say so. So Anna, what are some popular menu items here at Carlos Cucina? Well, we're basically a burger restaurant. We do various types of burgers. Carlos is very known for his burgers. French fries, homemade soups. Uh, we do triple decker sandwiches. We do pitas. We do a Greek chicken pita, gyros. Uh, we also do pizza. We do nachos. Now going back to the burgers, I think Carlos was part of the burger week. Is that correct? He was. Oh, good. Carlo was part of the burger week and was also the winner of Canada. What? For the Burger Week. The winner? Yes. When was this? A month ago. A month ago. Yes. Okay, so recent winner. Recently. He's the wow. recent winner this year, 2021, the Burger Week winner. What was the burger? It was called the Smoky Barrel. Okay. And we're planning on hosting it here at some point soon. We will let everybody know once we know. Got it. Smoky Barrel. Okay, I'll have to try that sometime. Yes. We will let you know as soon as we know we're having it. You know, I've never actually tried an eggplant parmigiana. No? Never tried one. Oh, it's delicious. So for some of our viewers that aren't sure what an eggplant parmigiana is, can you let us know what is it exactly? It's eggplant basically breaded, fried, placed in a pan with homemade tomato sauce, and then layered with mozzarella and Parmesan cheese. Okay. Baked in the oven. Yum. So now this is our tomato sauce. This is what the eggplant is going to be sitting in. We're going to layer a little bit on the bottom of the pan. What's inside the tomato sauce? I have put drained, strained tomato with sauteed onion and garlic. I've put a tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, and a little bit of Italian seasoning. Okay. And I let it simmer for about half an hour. Just and kind of thicken just up. Just kind of thicken up a bit. I also put in a, the jar that I had the tomato in, I put a quarter of water in that, shook okay. it up, yeah. and added it to my tomato as well. Okay. Depends how you like your sauce. Me, I don't like too much of a runny sauce. I like it a little thicker. So I like it, it thick too. <laughs> so everything sticks. You don't want soup. No. So then we just place the eggplant inside of the tomato sauce. We love our pasta and we cook it with almost everything. We could do it with beans, with peas. Mm -hmm. We do it all different kinds of ways. We're gonna do this. You wanna hold oh, this for me? Sure, I'll hold sides. it. Thank you. Take this out. I'm here to help you, Anna. I know you are. That's great. Oop, there there we go. Smells so good, that sauce, wow. Now we're gonna top it with a little bit of mozzarella cheese. The more, the better in my opinion. Oh yes. You can never have enough yes. cheese. Now you can use sliced cheese or shredded, whatever you have on hand. But I find that when you shred it, it melts faster. Yes. And so do you have to use mozzarella or can you use any other cheese? 
Um, you can use a little bit of provolone. Some of the recipes call for mozzarella and provolone. Mm -hmm. I basically just use mozzarella and Parmesan. Got it. Parmesan always though. Yes, and a nice every, taste. Yes. I'm putting a little bit of fresh basil just for some, some garnish. color and garnish. And some people, you can eat it. Some people will just eat it with, cut it up with the slice of uh, eggplant. These leaves are huge. And now we'll throw it in the oven. And we just let this bake for about 10 minutes. Until the cheese melts? Till the cheese melts. And you see the cheese starting to get a little bit golden. While the eggplant parmigiana is cooking, let's go make our dessert. Yummy, okay, let's do it. Today we're gonna to be making zabaglione with fresh berries. Now, zabaglione is a custard. It's a, like, zabaglione. <laughs> Wait, say it slowly. Zabaglione. Zabaglione. <laughs> it sounds it's right to me. It's, it's not close right. Enough. Close no, enough. It's very close. So okay. what we do, this recipe is like a vanilla pudding. Okay. But it's made with egg yolk. Oh, Strictly okay. Strictly egg yolk, sugar, and a touch of vanilla. Okay. And it's a warm pudding. So what do you do with the egg whites? So basically I just, I keep my egg whites and I keep them to the side. I'll use them for something for else like later. For like an omelet later? An omelet, yeah. something like that. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take these out and we're going to crack them here and we'll put the egg whites in here. So if you want to help me separate them. I can help you, Anna. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, my turn. Oh, these gloves are in the way. Oh, no, I got it. I got it. I'm learning from Anna. Oh, it's okay. I think that looks pretty good. Practice See? makes perfect. Yeah. Sometimes it all drips. Sometimes the yolk, you'll get a little bit of yolk in with the whites. That doesn't matter. A quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla powder. But I can go by eye only because I've been cooking for so long. But just like that. Okay. Five yolks, just a little dash of vanilla for flavor because that's going to be the flavor of our pudding. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a whisk and then we're going to take this over to the pot of water and it's like and a double boiler. It. Got it. But I'm going to give it a quick mix first, mm -hmm. actually, and I have to add some sugar. Okay, so let's I'm going to grab the sugar. the sugar as well. Okay. okay. So generally this recipe calls for five tablespoons of sugar. So that's a tablespoon per egg because we did five eggs. Got it. But I don't like it that sweet because you've got the berries, the sweetness from the berries. And the vanilla too. And the vanilla as well. So what I'll do is I'll cut it back to half a tablespoon okay. for each one. So I'll do that five times. Four, five. Now, Neri, if you want to start whisking the egg yolk and sugar, you can go ahead and do that. I can do this. <laughs> Whisk it till it comes very creamy. creamy. Until it's creamy? So how long does this take? Mm, about a minute. A minute? Oh, okay. I thought you were thinking maybe five minutes or no, so. No, about a minute because then we're going to bring it to the pot of water and it'll become, it's going to double in size there. Oh, I see. Okay. It becomes thick, creamy from the heat. Okay, so we're going to take this over to the pot of water. And what I'm going to get you to do is I'm going to get you to just keep whisking I'll it. keep whisking. whisking it and whisking <laughs> it. It's like that. That's seen. Yeah, that's pretty easy. I yeah. can do that. Just watch okay. you don't burn yourself. Sure. Okay. Just, Just keep, keep whisking. whisking. Okay, so the eggplant parmigiana is ready to come out. And it is ready. You, you see going? how it's coming creamy? It, it is becoming lighter in color. I did notice that. Yes. Am I supposed to thicken up? It will a bit, yes. Okay. You'll see. Do you want me to get in there? Yeah. I use my elbow grease. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so tired already. It's okay. I want the water that's in the pot to be simmering underneath. You don't want it hard boiling. You don't want it touching right. the bowl. And it'll start cooking your egg if you do. 
Got it, okay. So that's why it's important to keep whisking it as you're cooking it. Mm -hmm. Because if you walk away, it's gonna start cooking to your bowl. Oh, I see. And this is a, a custard pudding. It's more of a pudding. I wouldn't say custard because custard I find more firm and clumpier, right? Mm -hmm. Where this is smooth and silky. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's so decadent when you mix it with berries. It's like heaven in your mouth. Heaven in your mouth. And do you serve this warm or do you serve it chilled? This one is served warm. Um, Zabaldione is usually made with a liqueur, which is sherry, mm -hmm. but we're doing non-alcoholic today. And so when we do the non-alcoholic, we'll do it warm. Got it, okay. And look, I can see it already see? thickening up. Yes. We'll keep whisking it. And then what we'll do is we'll grab our berries and we'll start placing them into our bowl. Okay. Okay, and then we can just pour this over top. Some nice fresh sliced strawberries. Now you can use as much fruit as you'd like. It just depends on what you like. And I also do a little bit of blueberries. Can you use any type of fruit or does it have to be berries? I would be, prefer to use berries, just nothing acidic, nothing citrus. Got it. Because it'll make the egg separate. Oh, I see, okay. The pudding. have it and we can just take a couple more from the top and there you have it doesn't that look delicious so good oh that cheese, cheese. oh my goodness Malted and decadent and ready to be eaten. What is I, Shana? I don't know. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm. Oh, that looks really good, Anna. And um, very. Wait till you try this. Oh boy. Thank you so much, Anna. You're welcome. There's one more, Carlo. You want one? Nope. Jerome, you have one. I'm not Mmm. That's very rich. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much, Anna, and thank you so much, Carlo, for letting me into your establishment. It's been really fun, and this is delicious. Thank you guys so much for having us. Thank you for having us on your show. We hope to see everybody come down and visit us here at 300 Brazier, Carlo's Cucina. Wonderful. Thanks guys for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.